hey guys let us know with crypto marie local and international i choose my stories carefully when i see a headlines before i choose the story it has something to do with me indirectly or directly this headlines kind of strike something in me it says prisoners in the u.s are part of a hidden workforce linked to hundreds of popular food brands and I am looking at the picture, right? I see a group of black men with some kind of farm material on their shoulder. I don't know how you call this uh, kind of thing they hold in their back. But I saw this white officer on top of a horse leading them guys to the farm to work. When I see this, I see modern slavery, okay? You can take it for what you want. It is a long story. I'm just going to try to read the first paragraph, and I'm going to let you know why I feel like it's modern slavery. Those guys are working for almost nothing, for a penny and a dollar or nothing. Who has been benefited from it? Those people that own the jails. So what are you telling me? I don't even see one other group in there no white no hispanic no asian i only see a group of black men working down with something like a machete on their hand with a white officer on the horse leading them down to go work in the farm if this is not modern slavery one and one then you tell me what it is so let's go with the story to see what those guys been paid for or don't pay at all but working for free a hidden path to America's dinner tables begin here. At an unlikely source, a farmer sold in slave plantation. Look at this. Farmer sold in slave plantation that is now the country's largest maximum security prison. From the largest plantation farm to now a maximum security prison now they take those guys have them work for a penny and a dollar or nothing at all on mac truck park with prison race cattle walled out of the louisiana state penitentiary where men are sentenced to hard labor and forced to work for pennies an hour or sometimes nothing at all after wumbling down a country road to an auction house the cows are bought by a local rancher and then followed by the associated press another 600 miles to texas slaughterhouse that feeds into the supply chain of giants like mcdonald's walmart and carl gill wow entry gate invisible webs just like this one like some of the world's largest food companies and most popular brands to jobs performed by u.s prisoners nationwide according to a sweeping two-year ap investigation into prison labor that tied hundreds of millions of dollars worth of agricultural products to goods sold on the open market they are among americans most valuable laborers if they refuse to work some can jeopardize their chances of parole or face punishment like being sent to solidarity confinement they also are often excluded from protections guaranteed to almost all other full-time workers even when they are seriously injured or killed on the job mm -hmm. The goods these prisoners produce wind up in the supply chain of a dizzying array of products found in most American kitchen, from frosted flakes, cereal, and ballpark hot dogs to gold metal flour, Coca-Cola, and Rice Land Rice. They are on the shelves of virtual every supermarket in the country, including Kroger, Target, Audi and Whole Foods, and some goods are exported, including to countries that have had 
product block from entering the U.S. for using force or prison labor. So you telling me this is a hypocrite thing. You saying some other country like China, Thailand, you don't want to buy products for the, uh, from them because they use children, they use prisoners to do the work for free or almost for nothing. But here in this country, they are using those prisoners to cultivate, to farming, serving on our tables, making penny and a dollar or nothing at all. This is not cruel. This is not modern slavery then you tell me what the hell it is many of those companies buying directly from prisons are violating their own policies against the use of such labor but it's completely legal dating back largely to the need for labor to help rebuild the south shuttered economy after the civil war enriched in the constitution by the 13th amendment slavery and involuntarily servitude are banned accepts as punishment for a crime. I'm not gonna go with the whole story. It'll take the whole thing, the whole day. But let me know how you feel about the whole thing. You know, you have your loved ones there in jail for a crime they committed. You know, this picture really hurt me to see all this group of those black men with this uh thing in their back it just take me to 1930s 20s 40s where slavery was allowed in america and those guys supposedly are in jail for crime they committed but they are working hard without being paid and we have those big chain are buying the food are serving us the food Woo! no good no bueno no good my friend Hypocrites all over the place. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Bye.